So now we are going to look at a question where we have to find a minimum surface interval using the RDP table. Another common type of question you could get in a PADI exam. So what is the minimum surface interval required between a dive to 74 feet for 28 minutes and a dive to 49 feet for 50 minutes? As always, lay out a diagram, put the information from the question into your diagram, and then just use the diagram to work the answer. This methodical approach will avoid uh, making silly little mistakes, uh, and it makes it much easier to understand what you need to do next. I put the ABT and RNT calculation in this diagram, as I always do on table questions, although for this question it's not actually going to be necessary to use it. So the first dive is 74 feet, and the time of that dive is 28 minutes so working from left to right on our diagram we've got our first two blanks filled in uh, the next uh, bit of information that we have uh, we don't have the surface interval we're obviously going to have to calculate pressure groups the only other information we've got is the information for the second dive 49 feet for 50 minutes so we can enter that in and now on our diagram we have all the information given to us in the question so moving to the left of our diagram, looking for the first two numbers we've got, uh, it is that depth and time of 74 and 28, followed by a blank, we're trying to find a pressure group. So 74 feet, we have to round up to 80 feet. That's one of the important things to always make sure you do. If you're not given a nice round number, you always round up and now we do find that we've got 28 minutes so 80 feet for 28 minutes would land us in pressure group P at the end of that first dive this is where it gets a little bit interesting uh, the next blank we've got is surface interval that is the question so now we actually have to look across to see what the next information we've got uh, in our diagram is and the next two bits of information we've got are the depth and time of the second dive so we need to find a way to use that information on our table to fill in one of the blanks well what we can do is find on side two of the table the depth of 50 feet and now focusing on the note at the bottom of the table there you have got the uh, fact that the blue area indicates your uh, actual bottom time your adjusted no decompression limit the amount of bottom time uh, that you cannot exceed. So if we think to ourselves, right, well, I want to spend 50 minutes at 50 feet, what we need to do is scroll along that 50 feet row until we find a number that is 50 minutes or greater. Um, and here we see that it jumps from 48 to 52. So we're going to have to go for the 52 option. Uh, as long as we are in pressure group H, we will be able to dive for up to 52 minutes, and we want to dive for 50 minutes, so that's going to work. So now we realize that we need to be in pressure group H at the beginning of the second dive. The question now is how do we get from pressure group P, the pressure group we end the first dive in, to pressure group H, the pressure group we need to start the second dive in? Well, we can use side one of the table to do that, the surface interval credit table, and we can now zoom in on that. We're starting the surface interval in pressure group P. We need to end it in H. So let's see where those two intersect. And what we see as we draw those lines to find the intersection is that a surface interval of 39 to 45 minutes is what would be required so the minimum surface interval would be the 39 minute number and that is the answer to this question if you uh, want to learn more about using the RDP table I recommend you actually go to the website www.goprocaribbean.com go to the dive theory section there and in that dive theory section, you will find the videos laid out in a uh, method that makes it very easy to learn in small, comfortable steps and in a logical order.